High school sophomore Amber was a competitive gymnast until two years ago. Now the girl who loved to tumble across a mat has trouble walking across the floor. It seemed like a lot of things were hurting and I kept going to doctors and they kept diagnosing it as like sprains because nothing was showing up in the x-rays. Finally, an orthopedic specialist referred Amber for blood work. When we got the result for that, her rheumatoid factor came back at 102. It's supposed to be like 14. What's going on? Um, well, my hands hurt and like my knees. Dr. Ginger Jano says parents and patients overlook symptoms because some kids with JIA don't feel joint pain. She advises parents to look for other signs. A limp on a daily basis um, or swelling or, you know, subtle things where you notice that they're using a different hand for something. Dr. Jano says patients need to get a diagnosis as soon as possible so they can start treatment. The inflammation, if left unchecked, is sort of like a house on fire. And if you don't put out the fire, it burns down the structure. Amber says the monthly infusion of the drug Actemra did not work, but she's hopeful the pill form of Zeljan's will. Weekly injections of two other medications have not. You just need to keep pushing through, and like you will get through it. I'm Marty Salt reporting.